yes i know your question how do i know that my breast is normal and i don't have anything to worry about i keep getting questions like this not miss mary one of my breasts is bigger than the other is it normal not miss mary i have discharges from my breast is it normal not miss mary one of the breasts is higher than the other is it normal mm, don't worry that is why i am here today to take your questions good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the nurse with a difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you six things that are normal when it comes to the breast, and you don't have to worry yourself about it. Six things that people feel is abnormal, but rather it is normal when it comes to your breast. But before we go into details into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and this is your first time of coming across this YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nos Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. I'm going to go straight into the point without wasting your time. So the first point I want to share with you is that both breasts don't have to be the same size for those that are sending me dm saying not miss mary my right breast is bigger than my left breast my left breast is bigger than my right breast is this normal i just want to let you know that yes it is normal for one breast to be bigger than the other we all know that breast development starts during puberty and when they start one particular breast might be growing faster than the other so it's not something you should be worried about. And I also want to let you know that no woman's breast is completely symmetrical. Like no woman's breast has exactly the same size. One is usually slightly or very bigger than the other. It has shown that most breasts, they used to only have 15 to 20% difference. It is says that the right breast might be 15 to 20% bigger or smaller than the left breast so it's not something you should be worried about even those that are done with cosmetic surgery they don't have exactly the same size and i also want to let you know that if you notice a drastic change in the size of your breasts from normal it's advisable you see a doctor if you notice a drastic change in the size of your breast, it is advisable you what you speak with the doctor. Then the second one I want to share with you is the color of the areola. Yes, the color of the areola changes. It varies even with skin colors. When I mean areola, I mean that side, that thing surrounding the nipple, that area. You can see what's showing. That is the area I'm talking about. That is the areola. So the color varies. It can be pink. It can be dark pink. It can even be dark brown. So no matter the color there, the color you have, it is completely normal to have a pink areola, a dark pink areola, and a dark brown areola. Then that takes me to the third point, which is the position of the breast. When I saw this question popping on my DM, at first I was like, I smiled. And I was like, okay, let me find out more. Let me not use mine as an example. Let me go to the internet and solve the internet for information. Let me tell you something. The breast does not necessarily have to be in the same location. Like one might be slightly higher than the other in that thoracic area. One might be higher, one might be lower. So it odd like some tissues, like some breast tissues might be much here, like supporting this left one might be higher than the left right one. Why that supporting the right might be higher than the other. So the size, the location does not have to be exactly the same. So take note of that third point. To the fourth point, which is you can have pain in both your breasts around your cycle. Yeah, I hear women saying, oh, when my menses is about to start or during my menses, I usually feel pain around the breast. If this happened within your cycle, it comes and go and you notice like during this particular time of the month, I usually have this pain in my breast. That could be normal and there is so, that's not something you should be worried or perturbed about. 
that takes me to the fifth point which i want to share with you is that you can have some um lumps around the breast yes some lumps around the breast during your cycle same way you have pain around the breast during your cycle you might have some lumps around your breast during your cycle it comes and go it comes and go it is not static that is why as a lady it is important to know what is happening in your breast self breast examination is important mostly as a lady to know oh if you are doing self-examination monthly it is easier for you to detect if there is any change on time and see your doctor this point i have to share with you is when you are having a discharge from a particular nipple like from one of your nipple it is something for you to be worried about and speak with your doctor but if the breast is circled is squeezed or is expressed and some discharge comes out from it milk comes out from it and it's not blood it might not be anything serious it might just be natural and nothing for you to worry about but generally when you notice abnormal discharge when you notice some blood in your nipple it is advisable to to see your doctor i want to know that i want to let you know that if you notice any deviation from normal that is why understanding your body is very important so if you notice any deviation from normal it's advisable you see the doctor i've given a general note of what a normal nipple looks like oh sorry of what a normal breast looks like but it is advisable when your god tells you oh something is wrong it's advisable you speak with your doctor so this is just a general health education please always speak with your doctor for proper examination and confirmation so it is advisable for you to go to your doctor and your doctor tells you oh nothing is wrong than for you to assume nothing is wrong and at the end something is wrong so if you notice a lump that doesn't go that keeps expanding if you notice tickling in your breast if you notice soreness if you notice uh, blood discharges from your breast please and please see the doctor if you keep having severe pain on your breast you are having increasing temperature alongside all this please and please see the doctor if you notice some drastic swelling patches holes anything in the breast that is not there it is advisable you speak with your daughter as soon as possible because early detection of breast cancer is very very important and it can like it can help to prevent maybe myomectomy rem full remover and also prevent death on the long run so this is what i have to share with you in regards to the normal breast so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.